To some people, it's just a little village in the Eiffel Mountains, the Nürburgring. To others, it's the most dramatic racetrack in the world. It's the Nordschleife. Some even call it the Green Hell. And this is the track where I'll drive the most extreme Bentley ever built, the Super Sports. At the front, you'll notice, there are larger grills to allow more air into the radiators. As we go around the rear, there's a two-inch lip spoiler for more downforce. I've raced at the Nürburgring all my career, from Formula 3 cars up to Formula 1 Grand Prix cars. And if somebody had said to me, you're going to drive around the Nürburgring in a Bentley, I'd have said, you've got to be joking. But here we are today, driving this new extreme Bentley around this phenomenal track. I can't wait to see how it performs. Here we are going on that lap, the one that I've been waiting for for so long, in the super sport sort. A lot of us would like to call the Extreme Bentley. And we're at the most amazing track in the world that I mentioned just now, the famous 12-mile Nürburgring. Used to be 14, but now it's 12 miles. They cut out the pits area. Beautiful sweeps and turns as we lead down hills very slightly. And then we're going to go down here, around a right-hander, hot Zeichen, downhill, and then go up down to the Flugplatz. You've got to be absolutely perfect around here, keep the lines absolutely spot on all the way. A little bit of a jump here as we just nip off the ground a bit, land straight, we hope, Whoa. we were straight. We got the famous Flugplatz, we're going to take this a bit easier, Whoa, off the ground. I said it comes off the ground, braking very hard. Of course, the old carbon brakes really come into the fore. That's why we need them on this car. To be consistently hard and firm the whole time. Adding our force as we come in here. Down to second. Going to get a good trajectory out of here. You see how the car changes, changes direction. Absolutely fantastic. As we have to have changed the, the transmission bias front to rear to 60, 40, we get a much, much better uh, control through the corners. We get the tail starting to move out a little bit. And of course, uh, it makes it much, much better for pointing. The most amazing track in the world. But I'm driving the most extreme Bentley. And it's really, really very, very nice feel to it. Got beautiful handling. The car, of course, is 250 pounds lighter than it was before. Right, get on those brakes, slow it down. This is the most incredible section up here. Uh, we've now coming to Breitscheid, very dangerous, fast left-hander. Of course, this is where the uh, better improved handling of this car with the loss of weight and also, of course, the, um, the fact that we've got the better balance between the front and rear transmissions. Remember, this engine's 620 horsepower now puts the power down so well, that, that all-wheel drive. Here we are, the Caracciola carousel. I can drop into it, take you around inside it. It's a little bit bumpy. You can only go a certain speed around here. If you start to go too fast, you shoot out. Then you shoot out at the end of the carousel, all 620 horsepower, it punching as well. We're at uh, 14 kilometers right now. Working our way up to Hoa up. Got to be very careful as we go up here. Again, the road sort of pops, drops away, a bit of bite there. Up over the top, over up, dab of the brakes. Those brakes, boy, they do just haul the car up. The 
way it changes direction. That's the great advantage we've got now with the, uh, the Super Sports, is the way the car changes direction. Uh, very quickly from one lock, from turning in like this now, to that lock there. And it's just dynamic the way it does it, absolutely superb. Of course, we've got this quick shift gearbox on this, so it allows us to really upshift quickly, somewhat quicker than before, you can tell. Here we are, drop it down again, go into what I call the mini carousel, go around that, let it go out. Well, what can you say? I mean, that was just the most astonishing couple of laps I've done in years. To drive a car like this, you know, weighing a 5,000 pounds, 620 horsepower, it meant incredible handling. And you saw the change of direction, the car flicked from lock to lock, the gear shift was magnificent, the brakes just took me the whole way around at those speeds, 165 miles an hour on the straights, all the way, I mean, absolutely on the limit, and the car was faultless. I mean, it really is an extreme Bentley.